Hi everyone, my name is Robbie Wall. I'm the owner of Galactic Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to process an order in DirecTV in the Emerge Sales Portal. First, you're going to go to DTVOrders.com, like DirectTVOrders.com. You're going to log in. You're going to be given an agent ID, and generally the password is the last four of your social. Once you log in, you're going to get to a home screen that looks just like this. You can view existing orders that you've already done. If there's documents, you can view that. But right now, we're going to talk about processing a sale. So after you've discussed with the customer what the pricing is and everything, and you're ready to gather customer information, you're going to hit this button right here, Create New Sales Orders. Once again, this can be done on, this is a website, so you can be on any, any mobile platform or even on a desktop, laptop, tablet, iPad, iPhone, Android phone, does not matter. So that's one of the benefits. You aren't stuck with an iPad like you are in a lot of other DirecTV campaigns. For the sake of this, I'm just going to use my own name, right, um, and my own identity. So um, you're going to punch in the information here. I put in Robert Wall. I put in my email, right, I put in my phone number. I'm leaving social blank. Social is optional. So let me, let me take a moment and talk about a hard credit check versus a soft credit check. First, a hard credit check requires a social. That will appear on a credit report. A soft credit check is really just verifying if you've filed taxes and been at that address for a while, and that gives them enough data to see that um, you have decent credit. So another thing you want to make sure of, um, and what's kind of tricky about this portal, see how it says over here, street number? The street name will actually appear over here. Also, I do not live in an apartment, so I'm going to check this box showing that I don't live in an apartment. I gotta make sure I have the correct state here. And then um, now I'm gonna run the credit and, credit and select products, right? So we're gonna run credit right now just by simply clicking the run credit button. If you want a better score, like if you wanna turn a zero star customer or one star customer into a two or three star customer, include the social. So first what you do is you hit run credit and select products. It's going to load a bit. It's going to depend on your internet reception and how, how busy the portal is, which today it's a little bit busy. So we'll just wait here. Also, um, I, I also have the back box check for billing address the same as install. Remember, when you're running credit, um, if the person's recently moved in, um, you can provide their old address as the billing address because it has a better chance of them passing credit and then just put the new address as their install address. That helps a ton. So as you can see, the stars are up here. I'm a five-star customer, right? Um, we're gonna choose my package. This is just for DirecTV right now. We're really just creating a lead, right? Um, I'm gonna choose the entertainment package, right? If I want movie channels, the NFL Sunday ticket, I can include it there. Number of receivers, you can select. I'm just gonna put one. I want the genie, so I'm just gonna do that. Now I'm going to continue on to payment. Now, um, if you want to include a processing fee, you as the agent can. Um, it'll actually bill the customer right then and there that amount of money, and you get to keep that. That's your money. Me, personally, I always select $0 processing fee. Um, you're going to include the name on the card, right? Um, so I'm just going to do my own name. And this is a test, right? I'm not actually purchasing, so I'm just going to do a... BS card number. Um, I'm gonna select Visa. Doesn't really, don't really care about the expiration date. So if I want the customer on auto pay, I just select that box. And once again, we're just creating really a lead for the call center, right? So now I'm gonna submit and view order summary. And another important thing to note about this screen. Why, were we, why are we collecting credit card information? We're charging a $1 micro charge. So what that is, is we're just looking essentially to see if there's money on the account. We're looking to see if there's at least $1. All the customers are gonna get charged a dollar, and I believe, I can't remember lately, that actually eventually gets refunded back to them. We're, that's our way of peering in to see it, that they actually have the ability to pay. That's all it is. So once you've completed that, you're gonna get to this screen. Um, it's now gonna have you call this number here, that's where you're gonna call in, um, and you're gonna give them your lead ID. That's essentially gonna bring up all the information that you just gathered from the customer, right? So you're gonna tell them, hey, my name is Robbie Wall, uh, my lead ID is this number here, 
I'll give them a moment, let them bring it up. They're going to confirm the order with you really quick. If you need to add additional products like Biosat or Vivint or AT&T Internet, you can at that time just say, hey, they want 45 MEPS with AT&T Internet. They're then going to call the customer back, confirm the pricing, ask them when they want it installed, and that's it. That's all that's going to happen. So that's, that's how you sell DirecTV and process it online. Um, hope this helps you, and good luck.